Have you ever found yourself at a crossroads, grappling with the decision of whether to hold on or let go of a relationship? It's a predicament we've all faced at one time or another, be it with a friend, family member, or romantic partner. The decision is never easy, laden with emotions, memories, and sometimes the fear of the unknown. But what if I told you there's an ancient philosophy that offers a compass for navigating these turbulent waters? Yes, I'm talking about Stoicism, a philosophy that, despite its ancient origins, provides timeless wisdom that can guide us in modern relationships. Stoicism teaches us about the importance of inner peace, emotional control, and the value of understanding what is within our control and what is not. It encourages us to look inward for happiness, rather than seeking it in the external world or in the validation of others. This perspective is incredibly powerful when considering the dynamics of our relationships. It compels us to ask ourselves, are we clinging to relationships that drain us out of fear or habit? Or are we nurturing connections that truly enrich our lives and foster our growth? In our journey today, we'll explore 11 clear signs through the lens of Stoicism that it might be time to let go of a relationship. This isn't about giving up easily or abandoning ship at the first sign of trouble. Instead, it's about recognizing when a relationship has ceased to be a source of growth, happiness, and mutual respect. Key ingredients for any healthy relationship according to Stoic principles. As we delve into these signs, remember that the end of a relationship isn't a failure, but, as Stoicism suggests, an opportunity for reflection, learning, and, ultimately, growth. It's a chance to apply the Stoic virtues of wisdom, courage, justice, and temperance to our lives in a very real and meaningful way. Embark on this journey with us as we explore the profound lessons Stoicism offers for navigating the complexities of relationships. And don't forget to subscribe, share, and like this video. Please watch the entire video without skipping any part to fully grasp the depth and applicability of these timeless teachings in your life. 1. Continuous Disrespect Let's dive into the first sign that might indicate it's time to reassess your relationship, continuous disrespect. Stoicism, with its emphasis on inner dignity and the importance of living a virtuous life, teaches us that our worth is not determined by others' opinions or treatment of us. Yet, it also counsels that we should not willingly participate in situations that degrade us. If you find yourself in a relationship where disrespect has become the norm, where your ideas are constantly belittled, or where you're made to feel lesser, Stoicism would ask you to reflect, is this relationship serving your highest good? Continuous disrespect can manifest in various ways, from overt criticisms to subtle dismissals of your feelings or achievements. It chips away at your self-esteem, making you question your worth and abilities. Stoicism reminds us of the power of perception and the strength we have in choosing how to interpret and respond to the actions of others. While we cannot control how others treat us, we have the autonomy to decide whether to allow this treatment to continue. Consider the Stoic practice of reflecting on what is within our control and what is not. You cannot control the disrespectful actions of another, but you can control your response. Does this mean retaliating with anger or disdain? Stoicism would say no. Instead, it advocates for a measured response, grounded in wisdom and self-respect. Perhaps this means setting clear boundaries, communicating your needs and expectations more firmly, or, if necessary, deciding to distance yourself from the relationship. The decision to end a relationship is never easy, especially when emotions and histories are intertwined, yet, Stoicism offers a compass through its principle of oikiosis, 
The notion of appropriate actions that align with our nature as rational and social beings. If a relationship consistently undermines your ability to live in accordance with your values, to grow, and to contribute positively to the lives of others, it may be a sign that the relationship is no longer right for you. In embracing the Stoic mindset, you're not being cold or unfeeling by contemplating the end of a relationship. Instead, you're exercising courage, one of the four cardinal virtues of Stoicism. It takes courage to acknowledge that a relationship may have run its course, to recognize that you deserve respect, and to take steps towards your own well-being and growth. 2. Prolonged Unhappiness Prolonged unhappiness in a relationship is a subtle, often silent signal that something profound is amiss. Picture this scenario. You wake up most mornings with a sense of dread or indifference towards your day, especially the parts that involve your partner or the relationship. This isn't about the occasional rough patch or the normal ebb and flow of life's challenges. Instead, it's a consistent shadow that darkens your sense of joy, fulfillment and connection. The laughter and warmth that once defined your interactions now feel like distant memories, replaced by a pervasive feeling of being stuck or unfulfilled. In the context of Stoicism, our emotional responses are indicators not just of our external circumstances, but of our internal alignment with our values and perceptions. Prolonged unhappiness signals a discrepancy between how our relationships are and how we believe they should be, based on our values and desires for mutual growth and support. Stoicism teaches us the importance of living in accordance with nature, our own true nature and the nature of the world around us. When a relationship consistently undermines our well-being, it's a sign that it may not be in harmony with our essential nature or conducive to our personal growth. But Stoicism offers more than just a diagnosis. It provides a prescription for action. It reminds us that while we cannot control external events, including the actions and feelings of others, we have absolute dominion over our perceptions, decisions and actions. If you find yourself in a state of prolonged unhappiness, Stoicism encourages you to look inward, to question the source of your distress and to consider whether your relationship aligns with your deepest values and goals. This isn't an encouragement to impulsively walk away at the first sign of unhappiness. Rather, it's an invitation to engage in deep reflection and honest dialogue with yourself and your partner. Are there unresolved conflicts or unmet needs contributing to your unhappiness? Can these issues be addressed through open communication, setting boundaries or seeking external support like counseling? Or, upon reflection, might you discover that the gap between your current reality and your needs and values is too wide to bridge within the context of this relationship? Deciding to end a relationship, especially one that has been a significant part of your life, is a profound decision fraught with fear, grief and uncertainty. Yet Stoicism offers a grounding perspective. It teaches us that change is a natural and inevitable part of life. Every ending is also a beginning, an opportunity for renewal, growth and the pursuit of a life that is more deeply aligned with our values and aspirations. 3. Fear of being single Imagine for a moment the fear of being single. It's like standing at the edge of a vast, uncharted forest. The thought alone can stir a whirlwind of emotions, anxiety, loneliness, perhaps even a sense of desperation. It's a fear that can grip the hearts of many whispering seductively that any companionship, no matter how misaligned, is better than solitude. This fear, however, can lead us into the trap of settling for relationships that drain rather than fulfill us, that diminish rather than uplift our spirits. In the teachings of Stoicism, there's a powerful counterpoint to this fear, 
the concept of self-sufficiency and the pursuit of personal virtue above all else. Stoics advocate for a life where our happiness and contentment are not tethered to the presence or actions of others. They teach us that the fear of being alone stems from a misconception about the source of our happiness and fulfillment. According to Stoic principles, these qualities come from within, from our own character and actions, rather than from our relationship status or the validation of others. But let's delve deeper. The fear of being single is not just about loneliness. It's often about how we perceive ourselves and our worth in the absence of a partner. It's a mirror reflecting our deepest insecurities. Do we matter if no one is there to affirm it? Stoicism gently but firmly challenges these insecurities, reminding us that our worth is inherent and immutable, not something to be bestowed upon us by others. It encourages us to embrace solitude not as a sign of lack, but as a fertile ground for growth, self-discovery, and the cultivation of inner peace. Yet knowing this doesn't instantly dissolve the fear. It's a process, one that begins with acknowledging our anxieties about being alone and examining them through a stoic lens. Why do we fear solitude? What does this fear reveal about our values and beliefs? And most importantly, how can we reframe solitude as an opportunity rather than a sentence? Confronting the fear of being single is not about diminishing the value of relationships or eschewing human connection. Rather, it's about recalibrating our relationship with ourselves. It's about building a life so fulfilling, so aligned with our values and aspirations, that the presence of a partner becomes a complement to our happiness, not its cornerstone. This doesn't happen overnight. It requires patience, courage, and a steadfast commitment to self-improvement, qualities that Stoicism nurtures and champions. 4. Codependency Codependency in a relationship can often start off disguised as deep affection and mutual care. However, when one partner's needs consistently take precedence over the others, leading to a lopsided dynamic where one person's sense of purpose and happiness becomes overly tied to their partner, it morphs into something far more complex and damaging. This sign of needing to possibly end a relationship isn't just about imbalance. It's about losing oneself in the service of another, to the detriment of one's own well-being and growth. Stoicism, with its emphasis on personal virtue, independence and rational self-management, offers a unique lens through which to view and address codependency. The philosophy teaches us that our primary duty is to our own character and reason, suggesting that a relationship that pulls us away from these principles is contrary to our nature. It's not that Stoicism discourages caring for others, Rather, it promotes the idea that true care does not lead to the sacrifice of one's self or principles. The Stoic concept of apatheia, the state of being undisturbed by external events, challenges the codependent mindset directly. It teaches that we should aim to maintain our inner peace and rationality, regardless of external circumstances, including the behavior of those we love. This doesn't mean becoming cold or indifferent, but rather finding a way to support and love others without losing ourselves in the process. It's about setting boundaries that protect our well-being and encourage mutual respect and growth. Reflecting on codependency through a stoic perspective involves asking ourselves difficult questions. Are we seeking validation or a sense of worth from our relationship? Have we abandoned our interests, values or friendships in the service of our partner's needs? Are we afraid to express our needs or set boundaries for fear of conflict or abandonment? Stoicism nudges us towards self-sufficiency, not in the sense of isolation, but in recognizing that our happiness and virtue come from within, not from our role or usefulness to someone else. Addressing codependency may involve a process of reacquainting oneself with personal values, interests, 
and aspirations that have been neglected. It might mean learning to find joy and fulfillment independently of the relationship, establishing boundaries that honor one's needs, and engaging in open, honest communication with one's partner about these needs and boundaries. 5. Superficial politeness. Imagine a relationship where interactions become so routine that they resemble those between acquaintances more than partners deeply connected by love, trust and mutual understanding. This scenario paints a vivid picture of a relationship marked by superficial politeness, a sign that may indicate it's time to re-evaluate the depths of your connection. This is not about the pleasantries exchanged out of respect and care, but a politeness that masks the absence of genuine intimacy and emotional connection. It's as if you're both playing roles, adhering to a script that avoids conflict, but also dodges the truth of your feelings and the state of your relationship. Stoicism, a philosophy that values authenticity, rationality and emotional resilience, offers valuable insights into this predicament. It teaches that true well-being comes from within, suggesting that the quality of our relationships should not be based on surface-level interactions, but on a deep connection to each other's true selves. When politeness becomes a veil that hides dissatisfaction, unspoken grievances, or a lack of true connection, it contradicts the stoic principle of living according to our nature, which includes forming meaningful relationships with others. The stoic approach to addressing superficial politeness in a relationship involves courageously confronting the underlying issues. It's about having the bravery to peel back the layers of politeness to reveal the raw, unvarnished truth of your feelings and experiences. This doesn't mean discarding respect or kindness, Rather, it's about enriching these qualities with honesty and openness. The goal is not to create conflict, but to break through the barriers that politeness has erected, preventing genuine connection. Engaging in this level of honesty requires us to harness the stoic virtues of wisdom and justice, wisdom to understand the true state of our relationship, and to navigate the conversation with sensitivity and justice to give both ourselves and our partners the opportunity to express and fulfill our needs and desires. It involves recognizing that while change can be uncomfortable, the discomfort of growth is preferable to the stagnation of complacency. This process may uncover that the relationship has the potential to deepen and flourish through mutual effort and understanding. Alternatively, it might reveal that the path to fulfilling relationships lies elsewhere. Either outcome, approached with the stoic mindset of acceptance and a focus on personal growth, offers a path forward towards more authentic and satisfying connections. 6. Loss of trust. The erosion of trust within a relationship can be likened to a foundation crack in what was once thought to be a steadfast structure Trust, the bedrock upon which meaningful connections are built when compromised, leaves a relationship on unstable ground. The importance of trust cannot be overstated. It is what allows vulnerability, fosters deep connection, and builds a sense of security between individuals. But when trust evaporates, what are we left with? A shell of a relationship, where doubts and insecurities flourish, and the once solid connection becomes fragile and fraught with apprehension. Stoicism, a philosophy that values virtue, self-control and rationality, offers a perspective on trust that is both grounding and enlightening. It teaches us that while we cannot control the actions of others, we can control our reactions to them. The loss of trust in a relationship is undeniably painful Yet the stoic practice of focusing on what is within our control, our thoughts, emotions and actions, empowers us to approach the situation with a sense of agency rather than victimhood. Rebuilding trust if it is deemed possible and desirable is a journey that requires the stoic virtues of patience, 
perseverance and courage. It demands honesty and vulnerability from both parties, a willingness to confront uncomfortable truths and to engage in the hard work of forgiveness and healing. This process is not about ignoring the betrayal or pain, but about choosing to move forward with wisdom and integrity. However, the stoic reflection on the nature of trust and betrayal may also lead one to the realization that not all relationships can or should be salvaged. Sometimes the most rational and self-respecting decision is to accept the loss of trust as an insurmountable breach. This acceptance is not a failure, but a testament to one's strength and self-worth, a courageous acknowledgement that moving on is sometimes the most virtuous path forward. In confronting the loss of trust, we are faced with profound questions about our values, our capacity for forgiveness, and our understanding of what it means to live a good life. Stoicism doesn't provide easy answers, but offers a framework for navigating these questions with dignity and reason. It reminds us that our ultimate commitment is to our own moral and emotional growth, and that every challenge, including the painful experience of betrayal, is an opportunity for deepening our understanding of ourselves and what it means to live according to our principles. 7. External Stressors external stresses in a relationship, those uncontrollable external forces, be they financial pressures, family obligations, health crises, or the myriad challenges life throws our way, can act much like a relentless tide against the shore, gradually wearing away even the most solid of foundations. Consider for a moment how these pressures can change the dynamics of a relationship transforming spaces of mutual support and understanding into battlegrounds of blame, disappointment, and disconnection. The crux of the matter lies not in the presence of these stresses themselves, for they are an inevitable part of life, but in how they are managed within the context of the relationship. Stoicism, with its focus on inner resilience, emotional control, and the distinction between what is within our control and what is not provides a guiding light through the storm of external pressures. It teaches us that while we may not have the power to change our external circumstances, we do possess the ability to choose our responses to them. This stoic principle encourages a shift in perspective from viewing these challenges as threats to our relationship to seeing them as opportunities for growth deepening understanding and strengthened bonds. However, this stoic approach does not minimize the reality that continuous unrelenting stress can erode the very fabric of a relationship. It requires a tremendous amount of communication, patience and mutual support to navigate these challenges successfully. This is where Stoicism advocates for the virtue of wisdom, knowing when to seek external help, be it through counseling, community support, or other resources, and recognizing the importance of self-care and setting boundaries to protect one's well-being and the health of the relationship. Yet there comes a point where, despite best efforts, the weight of external stresses may prove too burdensome it's in these moments that Stoicism offers a framework for making difficult decisions with clarity and integrity. The philosophy teaches us the importance of living in accordance with our values and seeking out relationships that are conducive to our highest good. If a relationship becomes a source of constant suffering, devoid of growth or joy, Stoicism encourages us to consider whether maintaining such a relationship aligns with our pursuit of a virtuous life. In facing external stresses, we are called to practice not just resilience, but also courage. The courage to confront challenges head-on, to communicate openly and honestly with our partners, and, if necessary, to make the hard choice to let go for the sake of our own well-being and personal growth. The Stoic path is one of rational action, guided by virtue, 
and a deep commitment to personal integrity and emotional tranquility. 8. Power struggles. Power struggles in a relationship manifest when the harmonious balance of mutual respect and understanding gives way to a contest of wills, where partners vie for dominance rather than seek compromise. Picture two individuals, each with their own dreams, desires and viewpoints, locked in an ongoing battle of egos. This struggle is not about the healthy expression of individuality within a partnership. Rather, it represents a deep-seated imbalance where communication has deteriorated and understanding has been replaced by a desire to win arguments or make decisions without regard to the other's feelings or needs. In the wisdom of Stoicism, we find a path to navigate away from such power struggles. Stoicism teaches the virtue of self-control and the importance of acting in harmony with the natural order, which, when applied to relationships, emphasizes cooperation and understanding over conflict and dominance. The Stoic perspective encourages us to look inward, examining our motives and behaviors, and to ask ourselves whether our actions are driven by ego and the desire for control, or by love, respect, and the wish for mutual growth. The Stoic practice of reflection is particularly pertinent here. It asks us to consider the role of ego in our conflicts and to recognize the impermanence of our desires and aversions. By focusing on what truly matters, our character, our ability to act with virtue, and our relationship's health, we can begin to let go of the need to control or dominate our partner. Stoicism doesn't call for passivity, but for a rational, principled stand against behaviors that undermine the relationship's health. It encourages us to seek solutions that respect both partner's dignity and autonomy, fostering a partnership based on mutual support rather than competition. Addressing power struggles also means cultivating the stoic virtues of courage and wisdom. Courage to confront and address issues within the relationship openly and wisdom to know when compromise is necessary for the greater good of the relationship. It's about finding the strength to be vulnerable, to express needs and fears without the armor of dominance or submission, and to listen with an open heart and mind to your partner's perspective. Yet, if efforts to resolve power struggles are met with resistance and the relationship remains mired in conflict and contention, Stoicism offers guidance on facing difficult truths with equanimity. It teaches us that some situations, including relationships, may be beyond our control to fix, and that, sometimes, the most virtuous action is to step away from what harms us. This is not a failure, but a recognition of the value we place on our peace of mind and well-being. 9. Becoming Superficial Becoming superficial in a relationship is akin to treading water at the surface, never diving deep to explore the vibrant life teeming below. This sign of stagnation manifests when interactions lose their depth, conversations revolve around the mundane, and partners no longer share their hopes, fears, and dreams. The relationship, once a source of inspiration and emotional intimacy, becomes a sequence of superficial exchanges that lack substance and meaning. Stoicism, with its emphasis on living a life of purpose and depth, provides a compelling framework for understanding and addressing the superficiality in relationships. It teaches the importance of self-awareness and authenticity, encouraging individuals to engage with each other in a manner that is true to their values and character. The Stoic principle of living according to nature urges us to cultivate relationships that are genuine and meaningful, rather than settling for surface-level interactions that do not nourish our souls or contribute to our growth. The rise of superficiality in a relationship often signals a disconnect, not only between partners, but also between individuals and their own deeper selves. 
It suggests a retreat from vulnerability and authenticity, perhaps out of fear, complacency, or the mistaken belief that depth and intensity must invariably lead to conflict and pain. Stoicism challenges us to confront these fears, advocating for a courageous engagement with life and relationships that transcends the superficial. To move beyond superficiality, Stoicism encourages the practice of open and honest communication, where both partners feel safe to express their true thoughts and feelings. It involves a commitment to mutual growth, where each person supports the other in their pursuit of virtue and personal development. This shift away from superficial interactions towards a more profound connection requires effort, patience, and a willingness to embrace vulnerability as a strength rather than a weakness. Moreover, Stoicism reminds us that our happiness and fulfillment ultimately come from within, not from external circumstances or relationships. This internal focus helps to alleviate the pressure on relationships to be our sole source of happiness, thereby creating space for more authentic and meaningful connections. 10. Incompatible Values and Efforts Incompatibility in values and beliefs, alongside a disparity in the effort exerted within a relationship, marks a profound divergence that often signals a need for re-evaluation. Imagine two people, each standing on opposite banks of a river, with their values and efforts forming the bridge that connects them. When these foundational elements are misaligned, the bridge becomes unstable, threatening the very essence of their connection. This divergence is not about the superficial differences that add variety and excitement to a relationship, but about the core principles and priorities that guide our lives. Stoicism, with its emphasis on virtue, reason and living in accordance with nature, offers a lens through which to view these challenges. It teaches us the importance of aligning our actions with our values and the pursuit of good character above all else. When faced with a misalignment of values and efforts in a relationship, Stoicism encourages a reflective and reasoned approach. It asks us to consider whether these differences challenge our ability to live virtuously and to fulfill our obligations to ourselves and others. This reflection is not meant to foster judgment or blame, but to illuminate the paths available to us. Stoicism advocates for understanding and acceptance, recognizing that each individual is on their own journey towards virtue and wisdom. However, it also emphasizes the significance of personal responsibility and the choice to surround ourselves with relationships that inspire and support our growth towards becoming our best selves. Addressing incompatibility requires open, honest communication rooted in the stoic virtues of wisdom and courage. It involves discussing differences with a spirit of empathy and understanding, seeking common ground and respecting each other's unique perspectives and needs. Yet, it also necessitates a willingness to acknowledge when a relationship cannot provide the mutual support and growth that each person deserves. The Stoic concept of Amor Fati, or Love of Fate, teaches us to embrace every circumstance as an opportunity for growth. Thus, facing incompatibility in a relationship is not merely a challenge, but an invitation to learn, to evolve, and, if necessary, to lovingly let go. It underscores the importance of directing our efforts towards what truly matters, fostering relationships that align with our deepest values and aspirations. 11. Handling the breakup. Handling the breakup of a relationship is an intricate process, emblematic of a significant chapter coming to an end. It's not just about the cessation of companionship, but about navigating the complex tapestry of emotions, memories and expectations that have been woven together over time. This period of transition, fraught with vulnerability and introspection, demands a thoughtful approach, one that Stoicism, with its emphasis on resilience, emotional control 
and the pursuit of virtue can profoundly inform. Stoicism teaches the importance of accepting what we cannot change while focusing on our capacity for internal growth and the cultivation of our character. In the context of a breakup, this means acknowledging the pain and loss as natural human responses, yet not allowing them to define or consume us. Instead, Stoicism encourages us to look inward, to extract wisdom from our experiences, and to use this period as an opportunity for personal development. The Stoic practice of memento mori, the reflection on the impermanence of life, can be a powerful tool in coping with the end of a relationship. It reminds us that change is the only constant, urging us to appreciate the moments we shared while embracing the future with openness and resilience. This perspective helps to mitigate feelings of bitterness or regret, fostering a sense of gratitude for the growth and lessons gleaned from the relationship. Furthermore, Stoicism advises against dwelling on past grievances or indulging in fantasies about what could have been. Instead, it promotes a clear-eyed assessment of the relationship and its conclusion, encouraging us to set our sights on the future. This involves setting healthy boundaries, engaging in self-care practices, and rekindling passions and interests that may have been neglected. It's about reaffirming our values and commitments to ourselves, ensuring that our well-being and pursuit of a virtuous life remain at the forefront. The virtue of courage, a cornerstone of Stoic philosophy, is particularly relevant during a breakup. It takes courage to face the unknown, to let go of familiar comforts, and to step into a new phase of life. Stoicism empowers us to meet these challenges with dignity, to transform our pain into strength, and to navigate our emotions with grace and wisdom. Navigating the ebbs and flows of relationships with Stoicism not only equips us with the resilience to face endings, but also with the wisdom to cherish beginnings and the courage to continue growing. Remember, every chapter, no matter its conclusion, contributes to the rich tapestry of our lives, teaching us invaluable lessons about love, loss, and the pursuit of virtue. As we part ways today, let this journey through Stoicism and the signs. It might be time to end a relationship, not mark an end, but a beginning, a step toward a life lived with purpose, integrity, and a profound sense of inner peace. I encourage you to continue exploring the depths of Stoic wisdom by watching one of the playlists on the screen, Stoic Life Lessons and Stoic Habits. Each is a treasure trove of insights, offering guidance and inspiration to navigate life's challenges with grace, courage, and an unwavering commitment to personal growth. Thank you for joining me on this journey. May the lessons of Stoicism light your path, guiding you toward a life of virtue, resilience, and deep, meaningful connections.